Alright, James. Alright, mate. Can you not see the camera behind you? Move! Sorry. This is a documentary about mobile phones. Here is a mobile phone. We all know what they look like and we all own one. And in modern day society, six billion people own a mobile phone. But only 4.5 billion own a toilet. And these figures aren't staying put. There's more and more people are now buying them. And I'm not just talking about adults. 73% of 10 year olds now own one. And if you like that fact, here's a sexy Olivia with some more. In Japan, 90% of mobile phones are waterproof because youngsters use them even in the shower. There are so many mobile phones that even dogs have cell phones. Britain is filled with dirty sexters. 40% of girls do it as a joke. 34% do it to feel sexy. But I do it to feel pleasure. Thanks for those facts, Olivia. We then went on to ask the public what do they think about mobile phones. Here's the replies. Do you think that if you didn't have a mobile phone that you'd get on better yeah, and have definitely. a better life? Yeah. I would, I'd, I'd, if I could put my phone away and never have it again, I definitely would put what I need it. Thank you. Cheers. Do you think students have become more ignorant due to the mobile phones? Yes, I think they do. Uh, a lot of students actually pass you by, not even aware that they've passed you by because they're that busy on the phone. So I would, I would think so, yes. Do you think mobile phones affect you still? Um, no I don't think so because I use my phone quite a bit when I'm doing work and I'm, I'm doing fine. I've finished most of my work that I've been asked to do and I'm completely fine. A study from the London School of Economics shows that mobile phone bans increase student exam results. However, Lego Batman disagrees. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I've just been batmailing on my bat phone. And Carl Pilkington reports on the freezing of mobile phone tariffs abroad. It's cost me about 70p for him to send that. There's nothing else in there. He's not asking how are you. You know, what are you up to? What have you seen? Are you enjoying it? 70p. <laughs> A study by the London School of Economics has found today that students attending mobile phone-free schools generally perform better in GCSE results. Joining us to discuss these issues are Warrington Collegiate Head of Media, Danny Rimmer. And Mr Rimmer, thank you for joining us. Happy to be here, Trevor. And Mr Rimmer, are your students regularly distracted by mobile phones? All the time, yeah. Students are always on their phones. Through, um, they, they set work and they're, they're trying their best to, to, to occupy themselves with what's going on on the social media and on the Facebook um, and, and learning and what we're doing in class is coming secondary to what they're doing on the phones. So presumably you would agree with this study and endorse the banning of mobile? Um, I don't think they should be banned necessarily, no. I, I do think that they need to be restricted within certain practices within the college. Um, I do think that um, phones can be used in, in engaging ways, in digital ways, in, in, very, in, in so many different ways that will advance learning and will improve their learning and will extend their learning. I don't think they should be exclusively banned in schools and colleges now. So you're actually of the opinion that mobile phones can help students concentrate? Um, I think they can, it's for organisation I think, I think they can use the, the calendars, I think they can use the, the audio notes, I think they can use the notebooks, I really think it's, it's, it engages them. If they're going to be using them anyway, I think if they're using those tools, let's look at the digital tools we can use using the mobile phones to, to get them to concentrate more on the learning, focus more on the learning. If they really want to be using the mobile phones, let's use the mobile phones to engage them in their own practices. But would you not agree that students are in fact 
in schools to learn, and by allowing them to have mobile phones, you are in fact providing a distraction. Uh, no, I don't see it that way. I don't think it is a distraction. I think it's um, it's about it's my role to to educate students into the proper use of mobile phones. Um, I think I think. The, the world today, the digital world today, involves mobile phones, we can't get away from that, so I think the digital skills that we need to give our students and provide them with, the digital literacy skills, I think phones are a vital part of that. So would it be a fair assessment to say that you'd in fact like to see students using mobile phones more in classrooms? Uh, yes, I would. I think that is a fair assessment. I want students using mobile phones in class all the time. Um, for the right reasons, I might add. For the right reasons, mobile phones can, can extend the learning, like I said before, and can have real benefits um, to that. Um, I don't think that, that mobile phones, students should be allowed to do anything they want to on mobile phones. I really don't think they should. Um, I think we need to control that, and as a teacher, I think it's about controlling what they're using the phones for, um, and, and make sure they're using it for a beneficial, uh, to benefit their learning. Yeah. Well, Mr. Rimmer, thank you very much. Not a problem any time. Thank you, Trevor. In other news... Thanks for watching our documentary. I hope you've learnt something, and remember, don't use your mobile phone all the time. See you later.